Hello and welcome. Remove BG is quite impressive when it comes to removing backgrounds from pictures, but I found an alternative. What we're gonna do is compare Remove BG to this alternative. Let's start with this scene. Well, it could be complicated down here by the railing, but this, this, this should be easy. All right, let's move this one in Remove BG. Okay, so yeah, the railing causes problems as expected. We can see that there is a problem over here in the area by the legs. The uh, stone behind her legs has kind of a flashy color. That's why it thinks this is also a leg. But apart from that, seems to be pretty good. Now let's try the alternative. How does it fare? And there we go. And it's taking a bit longer. And it's working a bit worse. Yeah, so that did not work at all. We would have to manually remove stuff, add stuff. So the alternative kind of failed in this one. But we can fix it relatively quickly to some degree. Oh, okay, it really didn't, does not like this mecha arm, so we would have to paint that. What the? Oh no, that is a problem. Now we would have to tell it that everything around it is not wanted. Well, I wish I would have started with some other uh, example, but this seems to be fine now. Still took a little bit of time. All right, next picture, we're gonna try this one. I think this is a hard one. I wouldn't know where to start here, to be honest. So this is one where I expect both to fail utterly. <laughs> yeah, it could not identify foreground. And that is totally valid. That is so valid. Now let's see, how does this tool fare? Okay, it doesn't uh, give up. And I think it's it's a pretty good result. Let's uh, fix the, uh, the head a little. I hope it won't screw up everything. No, no, it seems to be working fine. Actually, yeah, I think this is a good result. I'm gonna include this and this and this and this also. Uh, and also this. Yeah, I like it. This is good. Maybe remove this part. Very good, very well done tool. Okay, the next one is, uh, I guess we're gonna skip this one for now. Let's try this portrait view. Now the question is what will happen with these parts on the left? I think they will be excluded by both tools. Let's try the move BG. Nope, nope, it got included, but <laughs> his neck is gone. Her face seems to be quite clean though. Yeah, this is pretty good, but his neck is not good. Okay, and now down here, yeah, as I expected actually initially, uh, only sh she or rather her head remains. What is a bit weird is that her eye gets cut out. Easy to fix. And what about this? Uh, well, good enough, good enough. And I'm actually not that interested in this part, so I'm not gonna even try to fix it. Okay, now let's look at another one that I think is very hard. This one I think is not easy to do at all. I'm not gonna try to fix it, certainly. But I think remove BG might... No, nah, remove BG failed. Okay. Let's see what this tool does. Mm -hmm. Actually, it did better. Impressive. It did quite well. It even included, it didn't include the, <laughs> the drink pack. You could totally remove or change a product placement. Also, it says mango. That's an inside joke of Blender uh, movie projects. But um, the gun got included, which I like. Not completely though. So this can be cleaned up a little, but I'm not gonna, ah, uh, see, yeah, that, that takes a little extra work. I'm not gonna bother with, nope, nope. I'm not gonna do that. But uh, pretty surprised how well this worked. Now, this scene I think is really hard to figure out. Let's see what happens. Yep, yep, not bad. What is foreground, what is background? I don't think that should be as easy as it is. But both tools produce some kind of result. This, of course, is much worse uh, regarding picking up too many things. Well, not much worse, just a little, little less perfect. It's strange how all this blue got taken in. All right, yeah, you would have to clean up the legs. I think that's the weak point, mostly. It doesn't even respect my boundaries here. Okay, now it does. Yeah, yeah, not bad. And this one, I think, is a bit better. Not bad, I expected worse results. This one should be easy, super easy, actually. Yep, no questions here. And in this tool, I would be really disappointed if it doesn't work perfectly. I think it works very well. Yeah, that's uh, very good. Now, I think remove BG d does a good job on that. Yeah, it even includes the uh, piece of wood here. Not sure how this will work in this tool. Oh, this is a bit messy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, not so excited about this one. Her hair got cut off. That is really weird. I guess it... No, oh, no, come on. Not that strand of hair, please. Come on. Okay. Yeah, this requires some manual fixing, but it tried to include the dog, which is which is really nice. I don't know why I tried to include like little islands of uh, whiteness. All right. Yeah, fixable, quite fixable. Okay, what else do we have to try? This thing should not work. There is no foreground here. So let's see if either of these is going to be tricked by this. Nope, this one's smart enough to figure out that this is impossible. And over here, yep, it also gives up. 
Good job. This, uh, you should be failing on this. This is quite well, except for this blurry part of her jacket, but that's totally acceptable, I guess. Very nice cutting around their body shapes. Should be relatively easy, I guess, if you have some kind of smart way to detect what is blurry and what is not. Obviously, it does have a way to detect what is blurry and what is not. This tool, I'm not so sure about. Very focused on the face. No, I don't like that at all. Looks like this tool does not con try to estimate what is blurry or is just worse at doing so. Okay, this is actually fixable quite quickly. Nice, 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 nice. All right, uh, which picture now? I guess we're gonna go for this one. This should be easy. I was actually surprised how well it works in uh, Remove BG. And uh, here I haven't tried it yet. Come on, don't disappoint me. Oh, you're disappointing me. I really don't like how you don't have shortcuts or mouse hold shortcuts. Maybe I haven't just discovered them yet. Well, it's kind of fixable. This part is the most annoying part, how you have to fix the holes, I guess. But now the result is okay. Didn't take too long. Still better than tracing it manually, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, this is quite messed up. Robots are not a subject matter that is very relevant to these. Cut off a little bit of a jacket, but otherwise not bad, except here at the rear. I have no idea why it thinks that these things are relevant. What? What is this? Finally, the last picture. This should be easy, in my opinion, uh, as a, somebody who, had, who never had to program any of these applications. But this is a perfect cutout, and this is not a perfect cutout. Again, too much reliance on color shade and not enough on the blurriness, which I guess you, have, you can do somehow by comparing how smooth it, the neighbor uh, pixels are. If they are too smooth, then this is probably something that is out of focus. Yeah, too bad that you have actually to spend a little bit correcting this, but now it's pretty good. Not bad, this tool. Of course, the best part is that you can save things at, at full resolution and you don't have to pay per use. You only have to pay once. Now, background burner really is not that great by comparison. Clipping magic seems to be doing okay. Yeah, not too bad, but of course the watermark is horrific. I guess one way to walk around it would be to uh, place the objects you want to have transparency outside of a center by just adding a lot of padding to the images. That would be kind of a cheap trick. And that is it for my remove.bg alternatives. Hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments what you think of these tools and whether they are usable for you or whether you think the quality is just too low. Like the video and subscribe. You know the drill. Every little bit helps. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.